All right, so I just finished up my film analysis of uh, Zach Wilson's game against UCF, so I feel somewhat qualified to kind of comment on what kind of NFL career um, I could be expecting from him. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out, but I'll just recap kind of the overall uh, thoughts on him. So he's really good at off-platform throws. Uh, he's really good at challenging tight windows downfield. He's got great zip on the ball. Um, he's got good footwork in the pocket. Sometimes he might get a little antsy, but he has really good footwork in the pocket. Um, and then with that, we have the bad of that film. Uh, uh, sometimes, you know, those off-platform off throws get him in trouble. Uh, I think he does it too often. Sometimes he gets a little antsy in the pocket, and he might throw it off-platform instead of setting his feet and throwing a strike. Um, and that causes him to have a couple misses. Um, he plays a, a little bit of hero ball, likes to chuck the ball downfield, and that is kind of due to BYU's system and their level of competition. Uh, BYU's level of competition isn't that high, therefore uh, they're able to run a lot of play action passes deep downfield and uh, you know, kind of chuck the ball up and hope the receivers make a play. Um, and uh, he also has some trouble with uh, anticipation. Uh, he likes to see receivers open instead of leading them open or, or anticipating that they'll get open. Uh, but those are both kind of like the overall good and bad that I saw from Zach Wilson in the UCF film. Obviously, that's one of his better games of the year against one of the better opponents of the year. Uh, so it might be a little biased towards the good side. Um, and I, I don't have time to go through his entire season and, and watch every single game with the kind of analysis that I did on that video. Um, but I think that his stealing uh, is, while not probably not you know the level of Patrick Mahomes, but a Patrick Mahomes-esque player who is able to make... Uh, make plays out of nothing, use really crazy arm angles uh, to, uh, to make creative throws and kind of uh, create things out of nothing, as well as being a very athletic and mobile quarterback at the same time. Um, but I also think that his floor could be Drew Locke, a quarterback that you watch. Uh, and, and, you know, when you watch him play, you're like, wow, like, you know, he has the talent to be an NFL quarterback, to be a great NFL quarterback, but he just isn't able to put it together. Uh, Drew Locke also has a lot of problems with his feet and setting his feet. Uh, he falls away from a lot of throws. Um, you know, he, has, he just has trouble setting his feet and throwing a strike to people and you know, getting himself in line. And that's a, a problem that I saw in some of Zach Wilson's film. But I do think Zach Wilson is better at throwing the ball when his feet aren't set. So that makes him a slightly better prospect, uh, or I guess a better prospect uh, than Drew Locke is and is currently and was when he came out of college. Um, and overall in the draft class, I think he's probably the biggest boom or bust prospect there is. Like I said, I mean, his, his ceiling could be Patrick Mahomes. I think his floor could be uh, Drew Locke. And you know, obviously the jury's still out on Drew Locke, but last year he was not very good. Uh, but yeah, the biggest boomer bust prospect, I think he has you know all the talent needed to be a good NFL quarterback. He's good at going through his reads as well. Um, but you know, he has some problems with his feet. He has some hero, hero ball complex issues he needs to figure out as well as throwing with anticipation. Uh, all, all, some, uh, all, all some issues that, that Drew Locke has as well and had last year for Denver Broncos. Um, another thing with that is that he's going to a really bad team. Uh, Patrick, Patrick Mahomes was very lucky that he was able to sit out uh, you know, a year, sit behind Alex Smith for a year, and then come on to a very, very good team. I mean, it was a playoff caliber team. He also has the perfect system around him. I mean, Andy Reid is an extremely creative uh, offensive, you know, offensive coach. Uh, he's able to create plays that really uh, you know, work with the style of offense they have. They're able to use the speed of Tyreek Hill, the arm strength of Patrick Mahomes, and, and also the creativity of Patrick Mahomes and using some of those RPOs uh, and his ability to read those uh, to really get the most out of Patrick Mahomes. And uh, I'm not sure that uh, we're going to get that from the Jets with, with uh, Zach Wilson. So he's not going to the best situation, uh, but you know, hopefully he's able to fight through that and, and kind of the coaches are able to tailor an offense towards his skill levels, use those RPOs, use those mesh concepts, use those play action passes downfield that Zach Wilson is accustomed to uh, at BYU. Um, I think that Zach Wilson would, would benefit greatly from sitting out for a year. I think he has some of the most talent in this class, uh, you know, some of the most, some of the, the best arm talent in this class, um, and you know, as well as athletic talents in this class and mobility. Um, but he just isn't quite as polished with his feet as you'd want him to be, uh, and that's a big thing with quarterbacks uh, is just having your feet set and being able to get set to make throws, uh, not being too anti in the pocket, uh, not rolling out when you don't need to. So I think it'd be very helpful if, if he was able to sit out for a year, but that's probably not going to happen with the Jets. I don't even know who their backup quarterback is. I'll, I'll look it up. Yeah, right now, currently, their backup quarterback is some dude named James Morgan. I have no idea who this guy is. Um, being able to uh, 
being able to sit behind, you know, a decent quarterback like Alex Smith would have been a great benefit to Zach Wilson. And, um, you know, he's probably going to be thrown to the Wolves out here in the uh, uh, with the Jets. But um, hopefully he does great. I think he has all the talent in the world to be one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Hopefully they're able to fix his feet, uh, you know, make sure he keeps his eyes downfield. Uh, not, you know, not just chuck the ball up to receivers when he uh, doesn't need to um, and, you know, not skip over the easy throws that he can possibly make. Uh, but like I said, I think he has all the talent to be great. I really hope that he's, you know, one of the best quarterbacks in the league because he's fun to watch. He's an extremely talented player uh, and he's kind of got the swagger of, a, of, of an elite quarterback. He's, he's fun to watch. So uh, good luck to him, I guess.